Welcome again, my student, to unit number three and period number two. Part number one. اليوم إن شاء الله هنشرح الدرس الثاني في وحدتنا الثالثة وحشرح أول جزء في الجزء الأول. The title is Safety First. Safety First تعني الأمان أولا. Open your book, page number 26. افتح كتابك معي صفحة 26 and let's start. Now, look here to the pictures. Here we have different pictures and here we have two questions. Look at the pictures, then discuss the questions below. Where the people and what are they doing? Where are the people? Where are the people? Look to them. This in this picture, maybe he is in a race, he can have his back, or he is riding his bicycle on the road, he can be so Look at him, he is wearing a helmet to protect himself from accident. Look to this boy, he is playing maybe in the park, maybe in his house, and maybe in his school. He is climbing the stairs, and the stairs is very short. It's very safe for him. Look to this person, he is a blacksmith. Blacksmith تعني الحداد. And he is working with fire. هو يعمل بالنار. And look to the sparks. انظري إلى الشرارة. Now, he is having here on his face a mask to protect him. هو يرتدي قناع حتى يحمي من الشرارة. Here, we have a person is cutting the tree. And he is in a forest. Maybe he, uh, he is in a forest. ممكن يكون في الغابة. And he is wearing also a mask and a helmet. هو يرتدي خودة أو قناع على وجهه أيضا. Here we have some people and they are working. They are dressmakers. هم خائطين أو حائكين. They are sewing. إنهم يعملون يحيكون الملابس. Look to the wires, the cables. طلعي معي على الأسلاك الموجودة. All of them are above the workers. It is safe for them. وأنها آمنة بالنسبة لهم. Here we have a man and he is going to drive his car. If you look carefully, he is going to use the security belt or the seat belt. اللي هو حزام الأمان. And this seat belt will protect him from accident okay now question number two what do the pictures all or tell us about safety what do the pictures tell us about safety ماذا تخبرنا هذه الصور عن الأمان وإحنا بنتكلم حكينا إنه each picture each person use protective clothes protective clothes تعني ملابس واقية like the helmet like the mask here the security belt حزام الأمان كل هذه الملابس will protect people from any accident so they are safe كلهم آمنون okay now if you want to live this happy life this safe life you need to follow the safety regulation لازم نتبع قوانين الأمان قوانين السلامة we should have all the protective clothes that help us or protect us لازم نستخدم كل ما يحمينا من قوانين أمان أو من ملابس واقية so our text for today is safety first الأمان أولا how can you protect yourself how can you reach safety كيف احنا ممكن نصل لمرحلة الأمان ولمرحلة الاطمئنان على أنفسنا by following the safety regulations باتباع قوانين الأمان like for example the security belt like this security belt حزام الأمان while driving also we have a protective clothes we have a protective clothes like the mask and the helmet. Mask, قناع, helmet, اللي هي الخودة. Like doctors, they have mask and we have 
here workers they use helmets and policemen they use protective clothes that هم يرتدون ملابس واقية لماذا هذه الملابس الواقية to protect us from accident to have safe life حتى نحصل على حياة آمنة our text for today إن شاء الله safety first الأمان أولا look here we have Four paragraphs. One, two, three, four. Four paragraphs. So we have four main ideas. رح يكون عنا أربع فقرات وأربع أفكار رئيسة. Let us see what is our text talking about. نتعرف على درسنا من خلال أفكاره. Our first paragraph says safety regulations in the 19th century. Safety regulations in the 19th century. أي قوانين السلامة والأمان في القرن التسعة عشر إذن إحنا حنتكلم في الفقرة الأولى عن الماضي وقوانين الأمان هل هي كانت موجودة أو لا The second one safety regulations in poor countries نتعرف على قوانين الأمان والسلامة in poor countries في الدول الفقيرة Safety regulations in rich countries وقوانين السلامة والأمان في الدول الغنية بدنا نعرف how is their safety regulation Safety regulations over the last 20 years وحنتعرف على قوانين السلامة في خلال 20 سنة الماضية إذا كل درسنا حيتكلم عن safety regulations in 19th century in poor countries in rich countries and over the last 20 years قوانين السلامة والأمانة very important زي ما حكينا to protect ourselves from any accident, any danger عايزين نحمي نفسنا من خطر لازم نتبع قوانين السلامة والأمان قبل ما نبدأ بدرسنا أكيد في عنا new vocabulary in order to understand لازم نفهم الدرس من خلال الكلمات تعال نتعرف على الكلمات الموجودة عنا Now look, she is thinking So Attitude Attitude means Opinion or way of thinking. Opinion, رأيك, way of thinking, طريقتك بالتفكير. Is an attitude هو طريقتك بالتفكير و رأيك. Attitude is a noun. Attitude. Okay, the second one. Pass law. Pass law. Pass law means make a new law. Pass law تعني وضع قانون Make a new law أي صن قانون جديد And this is a verb Pass law Here Look to the picture Regulations Regulations طبعا الصورة تبعتنا A symbol هي رمز للقوانين Regulations This is a noun And it means Rules and laws Regulations Take responsibility. Take responsibility. This is a verb. Take responsibility means accept that you should do something. أنت توافق أنك تريد أن تفعل شيء أو أن تساعد في شيء. يعني إذا حمل المسؤولية. إذا take responsibility. This is a verb. وهي تعني تحمل المسؤولية. Like this boy and girl. They are working. They accept to do something. يعني take responsibility. تحملوا المسؤولية. Okay. Look to the fire. You know that fire spread quickly. Spread. Spread, I extended, تتسع وتنتشر, and this is a verb. Spread means extended, extended بمعنى يتسع وينتشر. It, uh, here we have an example. Fire spreads quickly. Fire spreads quickly. إن النيران تنتشر بسرعة كما أخذنا في الدرس الأول. Here, look to this person. He is climbing the stairs. Gradual. Gradual. This is adjective. And it means slow, not sudden. Slow, not sudden. أي تدريجي. Gradual, تدريجي. Okay. Look, here we have lots of people who likes to like to read a newspaper. So anyone who read a newspaper... And it called popular press. Popular press, the newspaper that it read by many people. Newspaper read by many people means popular press. شو يعني popular press? أي الصحافة العامة أو الشائعة أو المتعارف عليها ما بين الناس. Is a newspaper read by many people. 
Okay. Look, we have two expensive cars. I think one is necessary. واحدة منهم تكفينا وهي ضرورية. But two is a luxury. A luxury. And this is adjective. It's an adjective. It means something is nice but not necessary. Something is nice but not necessary. شيء هو جميل ولكنه ليس ضروري. Look to this example. Owing one car is necessary, but two is a luxury. إذا تمتلك سيارة واحدة هو ضروري، لكن two cars is a luxury. ولكن سيارتين تعتبر من الكماليات. Okay. Restrict. Restrict. It's a verb, and it means put limits. Put limits. بمعنى يحد أو يقي يقيد أو يضع حدود. Like this. Restrict the police restrict people from writing. طبعا هذا رمز للكتابة والصحافة. فا this is the police and they restrict they put restriction. هما وضعوا حدود وضعوا قيود. إذا restrict بمعنى يقيد أو بمعنى يحد أي put limits. Okay. Now in your book, page number twenty six, here we have a question for the words. Find words and phrases in the text that have these meanings. يريد تروحي على الفقرات وتحاولي تستخرج منها ما يناسب بالمعنى each of these vocab. طبعا هو هنا منوه للفقرة اللي حتلاقي فيها الكلمة. Number one, make new laws and يسن القوانين أو يضع قوانين جديدة تعني Yes, pass law. Number two, accept that you should do something. أنت تتقبل وتتحمل المسؤولية. In paragraph number one, take responsibility. بمعنى يتحمل المسؤولية. Number three, rules and laws. And this is paragraph number two. Means regulations. Number four, something that is nice but not necessary. Something is nice but not necessary. In paragraph number two, is a luxury. Number five, spread بمعنى ينتشر ويتسع في paragraph number three, it's extended. Number six, slow, not sudden. In paragraph number four, هو بطيء ولكنه ليس بشكل مفاجئ. It's gradual أي تدريجي. Number seven, opinion or way of thinking. Paragraph number four, رأيك واعتقادك attitude. Number eight, newspaper read by many people. الجريدة اللي تقرأ بواسطة كثير من الناس. The popular press. The popular press. Put limits on بمعنى يحد أو يقيد بمعنى restrict. Restrict. Okay, let's move to the second question. In the same page. في نفس الصفحة في عنا السؤال الثاني. Use the words or the phrases from part one to complete these sentences. حنستخدم نفس الكلمات في السؤال الأولاني عشان نكمل الجمل. Number one. There are lots of stories about famous people in. هناك الكثير من القصص عن شخصيات مهمة ومشهورة in. The popular press أكيد وين من نقرأ إحنا stories عن الناس المشهورة أكيد في الجرائد العامة والشائعة. Number two, my parents' فراغ to computer games is different from mine. إن رأي أبائي أو انتباههم عن ألعاب الكمبيوتر مختلف عني أنا إذا my parents attitude طبعا إن هنا apostrophe و as يعني إنه لازم نستخدم وراها noun إذا attitude أي انتباههم تفكيرهم موقفهم اتجاه اللي هي الألعاب ألعاب الكمبيوتر مختلف عنا إحنا number three The government should فراغ to protect the environment. The government should يجب على الحكومة أن pass law to protect the environment أن تسن القوانين لحماية البيئة أو الطبيعة. Number four. Last year, السنة الماضية, he his studies into other areas. هو دراساته في مناطق أخرى. إذا he extended هو وسع من دراساته. Number five, we should teach children to فراغ for what they do. يجب أن نعلم أطفالنا to take responsibility for what they do لكل ما يفعلون. Number six, 
owing a car may be necessary امتلاك سيارة هو ضروري but owing to ولكن امتلاك اثنتين is a luxury number seven a new فراغ made it compulsory to wear seat belts a new regulations قوانين جديدة جعلت uh, ارتداء السيت بيلتس اي حزام الامان كمبلسري اي اجباري نمبر 8 the new law will فراغ what companies are allowed to do the new law will restrict القانون الجديد سوف يحد من um, what companies are allowed to do من ما هو مسموح للشركات ان تفعله Number nine, she didn't get better suddenly. هي لم تتعافى بشكل مفاجئ. It was a gradual change. طبعا change موجودة هنا. It was a gradual change. لكان تغير تدريجي. This is all for this part of our uh, period. هذا الجزء هيك بكون انتهى. Thank you for listening and goodbye.